Could you take us through your race? Oh, yeah. Um, so, different for this morning, um, I went to execute my race a lot better, um, build through the fly, and then um, really trust the back half because that's where my strengths are. Yeah. So, we'll bring it home on three sides. Can you talk about this past year going from with the Junior Pan Packs to getting to this level now? Obviously, it's a, it's a much different level now. What, yeah, what, has, sure. what has this year been like building to this? Um, I talked to my coach a lot about not being stuck on the junior level, um, climbing the ranks of swimming, um, and then really focusing on the details this year. All right, and youth movement all over the place at this meet. What is it like seeing so many, uh, you know, young swimmers make th make their mark at this meet? Yeah, it's awesome, and it really um, it's inspiring and exciting for the next year going into the so. What's it like for you to be the two uh, swimmers who are world championships? Oh, um, it's really awesome to race against them, and then to actually like be in a race that close with them is really cool. What's been the biggest growth in your race? Um, my backstroke, definitely. Um, that used to be my weak point, and now it's starting to be like one of the better parts. And what did you do to make it not so weak? Uh, lots of backstroke pool. Okay, gotcha. And then, how big is this moving forward for you now as you're, you know, um, taking the next step? It's definitely giving me a lot of confidence um, going into the next year. There's still a lot to do, but um, it's giving me a lot to work on. You're going to do your world, right? Um, I'm actually too old, so, oh. yeah. What was it like when you won the junior pan class at Fiji? That's a nice place to be. Yeah, that was so awesome. And um, I got to swim next to one of my best friends, Mariah. Uh, we went one-two in the event, which was really cool. What do you do when you're not swimming? Um, I have three sisters, so I'm always driving them around. So, how old are they? They are 13, 15, and 9. Do they appreciate what you're doing when you're swimming? Um, one of my other sisters swims, so we kind of like talk about it a lot and speed off of each other. And then the other two are dancers, so it's kind of a split house. Which one is the Uh, Gracie, she's 13. Do you think that maybe you might have to train a little more? You might get out of trouble again? Uh, no, definitely a lot to do. Um, and I learned a lot from this race also. So. When you say you learned a lot, what does that mean exactly? Um, for me, that was kind of working on brush over this week. Um, and a lot of brush sugars in the field also um, helps you stay motivated on that part of the race. So it helps you stay motivated, but so that when you go back to training, you'll be able to apply it in what way? Uh, making the negative split kind of closer, that's a good way to make the brush sugar. Do you know you were ahead of the three Um, just a little bit. I saw Brooke on the side, so it was very close and lost 50. What was going through your mind? Because you knew that she was great. Yeah, um, I was just really trying to get my hand on the wall at that point and use my legs. What do you think your best was? Uh, freestyle. All right. So why the why the 400 I am? It's obviously it's a grueling race. Yes. What what makes you so equipped for this race? Um, I think that this race is a lot of fun. And when I was younger, I was more of a distance swimmer, so I think my endurance is pretty good. And I really like training I am because there's always something different to work so you think it's a lot of fun? I do, I like the Okay, I'm just because Tom Dolan and Michael Phelps never described it that way. Yeah, I mean, it's a different kind of thing. What way? Um, I think you have to be in the right mindset and look at it in more of a positive way because it definitely can give you a lot of anxiety going into it.